there's a gap sometimes between our hypothesis and what customers are actually asking for. We're going to get tactical today, and we're going to talk about how you can get better information out of your AE, SDR, or even customer success team. And here's how you do it. It's a, a tool called Gong. There's another one called Chorus. There's a lot of different listening tools, right, that ask for consent and then record on Zoom or on the telephone or email or calendar. Just every customer touch point gets recorded. Now, what's beautiful about this as a marketer is you can start to set up trackers. So let's say you're trying to launch in a new category and you want to know if prospects are catching on or if the sales team's using it. Maybe you got a new feature or you got a new product launch, okay? And you want to know how's the product launch going? Are we upselling the product? Are people asking for the new product? Or maybe you're trying a new value prop. You're 30% faster, 80% savings, 30% ROI, whatever that value prop is and what you're trying to test in your messaging to really understand your customer, what's resonating? Because just because something works in your marketing, it doesn't always work for why you thought it did. And there's a gap sometimes between what our hypothesis or our assumption is as marketers and what customers are actually asking sales. Getting that information is critical, okay? So if you're listening today, what I'd highly encourage is you go build those relationships with the AE team, the SDR team, the customer success team, and get access to whatever tool their managers are using to listen in and do training. Because that insight is hugely important. Like Gong, we'll give you a collaborator seat free of charge and you can listen in as a marketer. That's amazing. Now, the other thing I want you to think about with this is listening for how prospects are finding you. Like, hey, we really were excited about your telephone system. And then internally, the management team hates the idea that you're a telephone system. They won't call it it. You avoid it. Yet every prospect is asking for it. This is great insight, right? Because search marketing, SEO and PPC satisfies demand. It doesn't create it. And so if you're trying to differentiate with your title tags and other things, why someone should choose your brand, you're missing the point of search. We need to use our copy, our top of funnel, our brand campaigns for that. But for our SEO and PPC, we need to show up when people are searching for what they think we offer and then differentiate from there. So it's just some stuff to think about if you wanna be really successful and how to get that sales information into your marketing.